Okay, students, put on your thinking caps. But why do we need to think today in this video? Because in this video, we will solve some very, very interesting math puzzles. Let us start with puzzle one. Here we have five squares and the numbers are written on each of the squares. And we have to replace this question mark. So you try for a while. Think and try for a while. Meanwhile, when you're trying, let me give you some hints. In each square, the sum of three outer numbers, the sum of squares of three outer numbers equals the number bounded by the central square. So four square plus two square plus one square, that is 16 plus four plus one is equals to 21. Similarly, two square plus three square plus four square, that is four plus nine plus 16 is equals to 29. Six square plus three square plus five square equals to 70. 36 plus nine plus 25 is 70. So what do we do? We follow the same pattern here. 8 square plus 2 square plus 1 square plus 64 plus 4 plus 1 equals to 69. So this is how we solve puzzle 1. Very, very interesting. Just we have to think a little as to how to proceed. Moving on to puzzle 2. Here we have 3 squares and we have to find out the middle number in the third square. I will give you some hints. Let us consider the first square as x, second square as y, third square as z. So if we do y minus x equals to z. Suppose we are considering this square as y. So the leftmost number in y square and we take the leftmost number in the x square. So we do 9 minus 2, we get leftmost number of z, which is 7. Similarly, 10 minus 5 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. We follow the same pattern for the middle number as well. 30 minus 16 is equals to 14. So we get 14 by following the pattern y minus x equals to z. Moving on to puzzle 3, we have to replace this question mark. Now I will make a pattern for you. On left hand side and right hand side, this we I made a pattern. Suppose in 6, 13, 7. Left hand side and right hand side are the numbers which is only in one square. See, 6 is only in one square and 13 is in both squares. So I have written in the middle. 7, it is only in one square, this square. So I have written on the right hand side. So 6, 13, 7. I named it as x, y, z. So x is 6, y is 13. And z is 7. Similarly, for these two squares, 33 is in both squares. So 33 is in the middle. 4, 33, 7. Similarly, 4, 48, 8. 48 is in both squares, this square and this square. So 4, 48, 8. Similarly, 5. I leave a gap here and I write 8. So this, I am considering this as y. So I made the pattern x, y, z. The number which is repeated in both squares, which is a part of both squares, I have written in the middle. Now let us proceed. If we do y equals to z square minus x square, we can find this. How? So z is the right hand side and x is the left hand side. So 7 square minus 6 square. So 49 minus 36, we get 30. So we get 30. Similarly here, 7 square. So z is 7, x is 4. So we find out y, that is a middle number. 49 minus 16 is 33. Similarly, 8 square minus 4 square, we get 64 minus 16 is 48. Similarly, in order to find this, what we do is 8 square minus 5 square, that is 64 minus 25 is equal to 39. So this question mark is replaced by 39. So this is how we need to solve puzzle 3. Puzzle 4 is very easy, but we, you know, most of the children, they give wrong answers. First and foremost, we'll start with the division. Usually children, what they do? 8 plus 8, they add it in this way. No, first we'll do the division. So 8 divided by 8 is how much? 1. So we'll write 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1, we'll wrote it. Then we give the addition sign. And then we do the multiplication because in Bordmas we know 
we first divide and then we multiply. So 8 times 8 is 64. So 64 minus sign comes as it is, then 8. Minus 8 plus it gets cancelled out. Then 64 plus 1 is equal to 65. Or you can also do like this, 8 plus 1 plus 64. Whatever you get, then you subtract minus 8. Usually what children do, they add 8 plus 8. No, first we will do the division. And then we do multiply and then we do the remaining addition and subtraction. Clear? Very easy. Divide 50 by half and add 10. What students do is they will divide straight 50 by 2, which is equal to 25, and then they will add 10 and they get 35. No. When you're supposed to divide 50 by half, you are not supposed to divide 50 by 2, 50 by half. So what happens? 2 will go in the numerator. So it becomes 50 multiplied with 2. If you are supposed to divide 50 by 2, then it's 25. But you are supposed to divide 50 by half. So 2 will come in the numerator and it will be multiplied with 50. So 50 times 2 is 100. 100 plus we add 10 now. So 100 plus 10 is 110. So this is how we solve puzzle five. Very interesting. But in this puzzle also, it will be given any number. You should be very little careful that you have to divide by half or two. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Remember, have a great time.